One of the reasons that I wanted to start my style journey is because since I'm at home all the time, I just lounge around in sweatpants and t-shirts all the time. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Teresa Parker. And today I wanted to share some of my most worn items of 2022 with you. Last January, I uploaded a bunch of videos all about the upcoming new year and some of the goals that I had. And one of them was to like find my personal style because I felt as if I was trying to diversify my look so much for the internet that I didn't really have like my own personal style and that was really kind of messing with me mentally and it was also a lot harder to get ready for filming videos like I don't really mind it in my day-to-day -day life I think that it's fun to dress up and everything but I've been going through some of like the Kitchener and Kibby and like color seasonal palettes i have been in the trenches trying to figure all of these things out and kind of narrowing in on my own personal style so i just wanted to share some of these items with you starting with pants we have my skinny jeans i know they're not really in style anymore but since i'm a model i have to wear skinny jeans to a lot of jobs so i end up just wearing these a lot if you watched my video earlier this year about what brands I buy my jeans for extended lengths, I bought these two new pairs of jeans from American Eagle. One is a boyfriend cut and the other one is a mom jean. And I said in the video, like they basically seemed the same and they still do to me, but I ended up keeping them. So this is supposed to be the high rise mom jean. And this one is called Tom Girl. I don't know if you can see that, but basically they look the same and I just swap them out interchangeably. But I like this style, so I just wear them a lot. But I think going into the future, I'm going to invest in some straight leg jeans that have a similar fit to those, but just without all the holes in them because they're not really appropriate to wear everywhere. And then I just kind of end up either wearing my skinny jeans or like my bell bottoms, depending on the occasion. I don't really have any formal slacks that I wear a lot because I'm really tall. I just got rid of a lot of my pants because they were too big in the waist. And so now I've been wearing more skirts and I also don't live a very formal lifestyle. That's just the fact of the matter. So the skirt that I pulled is this pleather one. It's from H&M. I have had it, I don't know, probably like two or three, I'd say three years maybe, who cares? So I really like this. I always wear it with like black tights and black heels. Um, I really want to get one just like this in brown. I love the fit of it and it has this saucy little slit in the side. So hopefully that is something I'll be able to find at the thrift store. I have had it on my list. I found a couple potential pieces on Depop, but I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing that. Since it's winter, I kind of forgot to pull a pair of shorts, but I grabbed these from Aeropostale. Yes, Aeropostale. Literally, I've had these since probably like sixth grade, and I grew out of them for a while, and I don't even know why I kept them, but now they fit me perfectly. Like, they're not too short. They're not too long. They fit me around the waist. I really like them. So yeah, this is probably what you saw me in over the summer. The next piece I grabbed are these maroon colored leggings. I still don't like how high up the waistband goes. If you looked at my video about my first week of school and like what I wore the first week of the spring semester last year, I showed you these and they go all the way up to like my boobs but they're long enough and I like the color. I love that they're not black, but they're not like those bright blue leggings that I have either. I have a pair that are cobalt blue and they're really cool and they look good on me. They're just a little flashy, so I don't wear them all the time. But these ones I felt like I was pulling a lot. And our last pair of pants, I grabbed this pair of joggers from Forever 21. I love the jogger style. I didn't want to do it for the longest time. Like I get so stressed out about buying pants just because of how long my legs are. And I still have issues with buying joggers that aren't long enough, but these are long enough. I love the color. I got these for my Forever 21 haul over the summer 
and I wear the crap out of them. I also have gotten like two more pairs of joggers since then, but I really like the color of these and the details on them. They make me look put together while I'm wearing sweatpants. I wore this outfit a lot. I am an outfit repeater. So I would wear these pants with a little white crop top and I left one of my crop tops that I wanted to use for this video at my parents' house. And then if it was cold, I would wear this green cardigan over it. If you follow me on Instagram, at TeresaAP98, uh, you'll see my Friendsgiving post. I'm wearing that outfit. And I also posted a video after Friendsgiving on my TikTok, which is at ToxicTeresa. So make sure you go follow me on those platforms. And I wear this cardigan. It's also from Forever 21. I just like how thick and cozy it is. I love the color of it. I love the buttons on it. I feel like a lot of times when I'm looking for cardigans, either they're not thick enough, they're not like fuzzy enough, the color's not quite right, or like the buttons are just weird. And I don't know. It's just like how they button. I like the ones that are kind of low. I like to wear them oversized. I just like them to be really slouchy. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I've been looking into like Kibbe body types and the Kitchener essences. And that's one thing that Gabrielle Aruda has said in her video about like the natural type. So I believe that my Kibbe body type is flamboyant natural and my Kitchener essence type, I would say the base is like natural the middle would be like classic and at the top would be ethereal. And like, don't come at me and be like, oh, you can't just say you have the ethereal angelic essence. People literally come up to me and tell me I look like an alien. So the whole thing is like, you look otherworldly. Literal strangers come up to me and tell me I look like an alien. So I know that it's one of my essence types. But one of the things she said about having a natural essence is that all of your outfits need to be like kind of relaxed and slouchy. So I think that that kind of, it gives that slouchy feel, but I also like the colors. It has like the tan pants with a green top, but I still feel like pulled together. I'll be honest, one of the reasons that I wanted to start my style journey is because since I'm at home all the time, I just lounge around in sweatpants and t-shirts all the time. So one of the things I wanted to do so that my content would be better, so that I would pre be prepared to create content at any time is to up level my wardrobe. So I wanted, even if I was lounging, I wanted the clothes that I was gonna be wearing to look stylish on camera. So that outfit is like probably my go-to when I'm trying to go for a loungy yet still put together look. The next item in this list, I wanted to put my grandma sweatshirt. I love this thing and I bought it off of Depop and it's actually made brand new. I thought it was vintage, but it's one of those shops that they just like sell screen printings. And I was kind of disappointed about that, especially because I went thrifting while I was waiting for this to come in the mail and I found another grandma sweatshirt that was like actually a vintage grandma sweatshirt. It had everything. It was like the white on top and the pink. And then it literally said like world's greatest grandma with like pink and blue hearts on it. And I didn't get it because I knew that I had just gotten this one and I probably would have gotten it if I had realized this one wasn't actually vintage when I bought it on Depop. I thought that, and like not even that I needed it to be vintage, but just I like to buy things secondhand, especially goofy things like that, like my graphic t-shirts, my grandma sweatshirts, those things love to thrift them. So, but I do wear this a lot. I think that it's like cute and cozy. Like, yeah, I, I love a grandma chic style. And I feel like I pair that sweatshirt a lot with, I have some pink joggers that like make it a monochrome outfit, or I also have that pair of maroon leggings that I'll pair that with. And again, that's just another one of those cozy outfits. I wouldn't say that it looks like fully put together, but it looks like I tried. It's not just like a ratty old t-shirt from where I went to high school and sweatpants from a guy that I hooked up with one time and never spoke to again. So that's kind of what the vibe has been recently. But I will say for oversized t-shirts, I wear this one all the time. I made these when 
I started selling premium content. So basically the whole time I've been selling premium content, I have been trying to find other ways to monetize as well because I know that I'm not gonna be able to do this forever. So a few of my first attempts were merch, uh, t-shirts. I also had like wraps for your jewels. I never got into the stickers or the car freshener thing. Maybe I should. Comment down below if you'd be interested in merch from me again. I guess I didn't have as much of a following when I tried to do this. I have one of these. I have handed them out to a bunch of people and it just looks like something you'd get from like PacSun. But I made them like years ago and it's just funny to walk around with your own ass on a shirt. People are like, what are you wearing? And I'm like, me. Next, I have a couple more t-shirts. I have this one. It's just got like a sun and a moon on it. I got it from Ragstock, but it's super soft. I'll probably start retiring it soon because it has like cracks in the screen printing and it's just like pilled up. It's kind of old and ratty, but you know, I like to tie it up. I like to wear it with leggings. I like to wear it with jeans. I really like the colors. I just think that it really goes with like my personality and like the vibes I give off. I love it. This is like one of my go-to t-shirts, I would say. Along with this one, I got this from Ross. Um, again, it's got that sun and moon. Maybe I just like that design style. I like the color of this one too. It's like a lavender. Um, I don't really like dark purple on me, but I like like a soft kind of muted, just like I said earlier. I'm like a soft summer, I believe color palette, so this lavender looks nice with my pale skin. And then I have some more like tank tops that I had from the summer. You've seen me wear this in so many videos. I love this though. It's so cute, it's from Forever 21. It's just got a little bow, it's really simple, it's a crop top. Again, I like to wear it with leggings, I like to wear it with jeans, I like to wear it with skirts, I wear this a lot actually. And next, kind of similar in a different color. I love these straps. This is also from Forever 21, um, sponsor me. So I have this yellow tank top. I used to wear it more, but I put it in the wash and it's not as bright as it once was. And it's a little big on me. So again, I think this one is another one that's gonna get retired a little bit next year. I just. I grabbed it a lot at the beginning of this year and over the summer, but once, I don't know, it was in the wash with something that just made it a little dingy and it doesn't look as good. So I just don't catch myself grabbing it as much, but people have told me that it doesn't look as bad as I think it does. So I still wear it, I just don't wear it as much as I was at the beginning of this year. If Forever 21 goes out of business, where am I gonna shop? Because this, it's also from Forever 21, but it's so cute. It's like just a little crop top. Again, from my Forever 21 haul over the summer. You know what? People always say that you shouldn't do hauls, but I feel like I did a good job on that one because I wear these clothes all the time. I just have this little brown crop top. Like I said in my video from last year where I was cleaning out my closet, I really wanted to wear a lot less black. It just doesn't look good on my skin tone, so I'm trying to switch over a lot of my neutrals to a brown rather than black. So I wore this tank top a lot over the summer. Again, I wore it with skirts, jeans. I don't think I ever wore it with leggings because I didn't have any leggings to match the brown, but probably like those joggers. Um, who knows how I'll style it next year, but I feel like it's gonna remain a staple in my closet for a long time. Following the brown theme, I have this shirt that I got from Windsor. It has a deep V and it like ties in the back, it has balloon sleeves. I really like these kind of sleeves because they have a little bit more forgiveness for length because they're meant to kind of be puffy. So they're usually longer than just getting regular straight sleeves. And I like how soft it is and I like the color, like I said, the brown neutrals. I feel like I wear this shirt a lot. It's like my go-to, not really formal wear type shirt, but if I'm going out and I just need something to throw on and it's been a little bit chilly. So I feel like I've been wearing this one a lot. I wore it a lot in January and I've been wearing it a lot 
again since it's been getting colder out so definitely one of my most worn items of 2022 and the last couple clothing items i have are some of my favorite layering pieces so first i have this mock neck it's from white stag it's like a cream color and it's really great for layering you can get like twice as much wear out of your wardrobe if you put something more summery or fall over a mock neck or a turtleneck like this and last year i was wearing a black turtleneck underneath sweatshirts a lot and since i'm trying to get away from wearing black i wanted to replace it i got this white mock neck and i have been wearing it under a lot of things so again one of my most worn items of the year and i believe i'll continue to wear it for a while the last clothing item i have to share with you is this denim jacket it's wrangler brand but i got it from walmart a couple of years ago i wear it all the time whenever i need to throw something on over uh, sometimes i have a couple of flannels that i'll wear too but i'm not as big of a flannel fan as i was when i lived in iowa it's just like a totally different style and you know sometimes i'll still do it over like a crop top with jeans but i feel like that feels very 2018 to me so really like this denim jacket my most worn shoes of this year are obviously my checkered vans if you know me if you've been following me for a long time you know i live in these i literally got these for christmas last year and look how dirty they are i wear these like every single day i love them they're slip-ons i think that next time i get a pair of these i'm gonna go for a different color but definitely still the checkers i maybe will go for like a tan or even like a light pink who knows but yeah if i'm trying to transition out of the black these just sometimes they look goofy with my outfits but if it's like a blue or a pink or a yellow outfit like nobody really cares and since they're neutral no one really cares anyway you know but i love my vans i also have a pair of yellow ones and i have a pair of painted vans from my friend lauren if you follow her at the western 70s on twitter on instagram check out her work it's fabulous but i didn't get those until a couple of months ago so i do wear them a lot but they're like blue and yellow so they don't match as many outfits so those are my most worn items of 2022 if you have a favorite out of all of them make sure that you comment that down below let me know if you have a favorite outfit that you've seen from me this year either on my youtube channel or my instagram i would love to hear that from you if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up down below and hit the red subscribe button there's also a gray notification bell right next to it so you can be notified when i upload new videos coming into the new year i will be having more fashion videos just talking about like self-development and like goal setting into the new year i'll be talking about only fans and running it as a business i have my book coming out so i'll have a lot of new videos with only fans advice and then obviously lots of vlogs i will be talking a little bit more about my work that i've done as a freelancer as a model so if you want to be notified when those videos come out make sure that you hit the notification bell so you can join our community and be up to date when i upload new videos Thanks for tuning into this one and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>